If you are offended by a fat girl having three takeaways in one day, please do not watch this video. Welcome to my What Eat In A Day. For my breakfast, I had a McDonald's. We were on the way to Leeds for Paige's dance. Then I went to the cinema again because it just passed the time. This time I watched Wonka. I actually haven't watched this yet. I really Damn. enjoyed it. I don't usually... Can you imagine going out to eat three times in a day and getting snacks in the middle of it? And then while you have free time in between eating your food, you go to watch Willy Wonka? <laughs> you can't make that up, dude. That shit is literally uncanny. Uh, this woman, Becky, seems to have a ginormous problem i cannot believe anytime i go through her tiktok it's literally nothing but what i eat in a days or food reviews and i look at this and i go i just really think that this particular lifestyle this particular content choice that she has chosen especially for somebody of her size is not very practical given that like we know what this leads to just death just death early death and you know, it's great every once in a while to go out and eat some food and stuff like that. But, dude, it's like every day, three takeouts in one day, starting your day with Mickey D's and then going to Nando's. I, we don't even have Nando's here. I don't think we do. I don't know. Somebody can let me know down below in the comments. Do we have Nando's in America? I don't think we do, but maybe you can let me know and then I'm, I'll be informed. But I'm pretty sure we don't have it here. But I see people in the UK eating Nando's. Oh, yeah, we had to stop around to get a Nando's because Nando's is like the best place ever. So we're going to go in. We're going to go ahead and get that. It's going to be so good. Yeah, I hear that quite a bit. Like you guys go to Nando's quite a bit. That's like their, your burger. Your, this is like your McDonald's over there. Light news calls. Damn, Damn like they even put a stick in it. This doesn't look that good. In my opinion, I feel like I could probably make something better at my house. I had a Nando's for my dinner. I got the medium chicken butterfly, creamy Damn. mash, and garlic bread. The garlic bread. Why'd you slow it down on that bite? You you guys saw the frames? She she slowed it down. It hit different here. It was so bloody nice. It's, it's just fast food. Let's just be honest here for a second, dude, okay? It's just fast food. I don't care what anybody says. It's just like some basic shit you can get at, like, I don't know, an Arby's or like an IHOP or something like that. I refuse to believe that Nando's is like a far and away like the best restaurant chain. It, it, it's just a restaurant chain, okay? No heart and soul was put into this shit. And the fact that you're eating out as much as you are at this particular place. <sighs> then before we left White Rose Shopping Center, we got one of these chocolate eclairs from Greg. You, you know what I love about her is that she'll say that she, she got a takeaway three times today right but she's not looking at the other stuff that she gets in between like a greg okay uh, you went to greg's okay but then you also had m&ms while you were watching willy wonka and the chocolate factory which i heard was not very good uh, hashtag johnny depp did it better hashtag gene wilder did it better but whatever you, you you're going out of your way in between the meals that you got and you're getting you're getting more fast food in between those things so that adds up like you can't expect to be and you're wearing crocs and you're wearing crocs dude i don't know i see girls consistently going fit check and they look amazing right but then when they show you the the shoes right they show you the shoes what do you see crocs i see crocs and i go if your outfit if your outfit was an eight or a nine because you're wearing the crocs it immediately makes it a six it immediately makes it a five because the crocs are going to and i get it you're trying to dress for comfort for in the sense of the shoes but one thing i don't understand is how the hell are you going to tell me you're dressing for comfort when you're wearing jeans you're wearing a really really tight shirt and everything else is fundamentally uncomfortable with the exception of the shoes make it make sense if you are dressing for comfort why the fuck are you wearing all this uncomfortable shit on the top and the, and the bottom half of your body but the shoes are the thing that really really solidify the comfort doesn't make any sense they look terrible try better now don't get me wrong i understand there's a time and place for crocs there is but you can't deny they look terrible they're disgusting but anyway i forgot what we were talking about yeah this woman has an inability to understand that the, the stuff in between is also fast food but go ahead i've never actually had one. Oh, she got an eclair these from here I definitely prefer... She got them beehive glasses, dude. You guys see that? Chat wins, but these were good too. So, so creamy inside. 
I guess. Then for my tip, Why does it matter if it's creamy on the inside? These people really talk about like food as if they're like connoisseurs. You know what I'm talking about? Like, oh my god, this food was so good. It had like it was soft. It had great texture. It had this and this. You don't give a fuck. Let's be honest here. You're eating all day. The food that you put in your mouth really doesn't fucking matter. I don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck. Nobody's going. Nobody ever went to Greg's and was like, hey. I watched this really, really obese fat woman on TikTok talk about how great your food choice is, how you make your food is so delicioso. So I had to come in and I had to see it for myself. Nobody, nobody, never ever has that ever happened in the in existence of humanity. Hey, I was tired. I'm not making excuses. Tired for what? What did you even do? Sit down? You just sat down from place to place to place to place. There's literally no activity in your life. And you're sitting there going, I was tired. What do you mean you were tired? You ate like four times more than what the normal person needs to eat. And you, you should have the energy to like, I don't know, make it through the day. What do you mean you're tired? I was tired and yeah. I just wanted a curry. I'm not That's an excuse right there, dude. I was tired, therefore I had to get a curry. I had to, I had to get a curry. Can you guys, just real quick. I'm gonna need probably somebody to come over there and teach you guys proper English. Because saying that I... <laughs> I got a takeaway, I got a Nando's, I got a curry. It just, some about it just doesn't, doesn't make sense. And I think it's the way you format that language. It should really realistically be like, I went out and I got some fast food. I got some fast food. Not, I got a takeaway. No, not, uh, I got a Nando's. No, not a, I got a curry. I got some curry. I got curry at this place. Why do you guys put uh in the front of everything? It doesn't need to be that way. And I understand, I don't understand, honestly. People have told me that she's wearing filters. She has filters on when she records these videos. Does anybody know that for real though? Is it is this actually a filter? Filters nowadays have gotten so good that it's really difficult for me to identify the filter. Like back like 10 years ago, you could have easily identified it because all the filters that were out were just like, I guess, devil horns or the cat face or something else that was easily identifiable. But nowadays filters are like, uncanny valley type shit like you don't know for sure and then when you meet somebody in real life you go oh my god who are you and you go like it's me it's me becky jones didn't you see me on my tiktok when i got that nando's and you go what you're becky jones why do you look like an anvil you don't look like anything like you do oh yeah that's right you know i wear glasses and sometimes i wear makeup so that's probably the reason. No, it's not. You're probably using tons of filters, right? Some people have told me that the in the wild pictures, like the pictures that you can catch of her when somebody doesn't have the filters on, are crazy. Can somebody link me those pictures on my Discord? I would love to see that. Anyway, um, I don't know why I put myself on full screen, but enjoy the view. That's how simple it is. It's literally. Oh yeah, using an excuse to get food. Like I was, I was really. That's like somebody going like. I was depressed, even though I'm not really depressed and I had a great day, but I'm kind of still depressed. I'm just going to go out of my way and just buy tons and tons of food or, oh no, I woke up today and I stepped on the beat off rag that I used last night. So my day is automatically starting bad. So I got to go to Mickey D's, get a couple QPs. Like I got to the beat off paper on my toes. Like I, I got my foot pregnant. I'm going to need to real deal. Go get that BK, that Mickey D's. Tikka masala, some pilaf rice, Damn. some papadums. And it Papa was Don's? The fuck is Papa Don's? Very yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. Big Everything is yummy in your tummy, bro. You've been eating all day. You have yet to stop. You literally sat there and said, and I do mean sat there. You literally sat. You you had transitional periods. I'll give you that. You probably walked a few steps today, but you literally went from sitting position to walking to sitting position to walking to sitting position to sitting position. Like that's all you did for the entire day. You didn't actually do anything. But hey, man, it's your life. Tell me. Then after that, I had one what, of my- What do you mean after that? That was the three foods. That you literally said you got three takeaways. <laughs> you got three takeouts today. And that was the three, right? Is that not the three takeouts? What else is left? Chocolate trifle. Oh, my bad. I forgot about the snacks. <laughs> How could I forget? Yeah, you don't feel garbage after this? Damn. Is I hope I think this is her painted nail, right? This is like painted nails, right? Damn, this shit looks infected. Why does it look like that? What the fuck? Okay, maybe that's just like chocolate stains, I hope, dude. Hey, do you, you don't feel bad, Becky, after eating all this garbage all day? Like, you just don't? Do you just like get used to it after after a, a good amount of time of eating garbage like this on a consistent basis? Because I know that if I eat McDonald's, 
I may not feel bad for like the first 10, 15 minutes, but I know that like after that hour, I'm probably not going to feel the best. Physically speaking, I'm probably going to feel a little ill. Um, I know you probably don't feel ill in the sense of like mentally speaking, because this is like a normal thing for you, right? Like it's just like a, a basic day to day thing for you, but you don't feel physically ill after eating literal nothing but garbage for the entire day. Like, is that just normal for you? All right. And that was everything. That's more than enough. Love you all. Love you too. Love you too. Love you too. Hi everyone. Welcome Damn, to dude. My... She, you know, a lot of people. You might be looking at her and going like, it's not that bad. Like her, she's love not. She doesn't look that bad in the face, dude. Her face is big. Okay, her face is like she got a lot of bone structure. It looks like. Hi everyone, and welcome to my what I eat in a day Easter. God damn, dude! What I eat in a day, starting off strong with the M and M's and the Kit Kats, dude. <laughs> damn. So these were my Easter eggs that I got. I never actually got to eat any yesterday. You shouldn't have eaten them at all. To be to just to be honest, you should just took them and like gave them away, threw them. Like go up, drive around, have somebody drive you around, and come up through your sunroof and just start chucking the Easter eggs at people because that would have been way better than whatever the fuck you're gonna do with them. But for my breakfast, I had a fry up. Well, I had sausages, bacon, egg, tomatoes, and toast Damn. with a cup of tea. Always good to start off the day with a nice breakfast. Then I had my lamb roast dinner. Okay. It was so delicious. It's all right. Had is that pancakes? What is this right here on the left? What the fuck is this thing? Is this like a pancake? What is that? Lamb, roasties, broccoli, carrots, and Yorkshire pudding. Oh, York is that a Yorkshire pudding? What is that thing? What is that? These Yorkshire puddings were absolutely beautiful. That's a pudding? And the lamb just melted in your mouth. Then Yo, God damn. God damn. Where are you, bro? Is this Willy Wonka's actual chocolate factory? Damn, dude. Look at the size of these strawberries, bro. These things are like a, 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 a child's hand. Look how massive they are, bro. How you gonna put... How the hell are you gonna put all this food next to whatever the fuck this is? Is this like a meat thing? Oh, no, no this isn't. This isn't meat. No. Damn, bro. Look at all the food, man. If you can even call it that. Jeez, bro. Look at the table. Really just setting yourself up for failure. Obviously, you're going to be body slamming most of this. For dessert, I made this big, massive Easter This is dessert? Yo, get the fuck out of here. How the fuck you going to be like, yeah, this is my dessert right here. The table? The table? You couldn't even just, just one of those things? You couldn't just do this. Like, maybe all the strawberries could have been your dessert. Maybe this cake would have been way better. Because, obviously... Dude, there's literally a jar of Nutella. You literally have a jar, a whole thing of Nutella on a table. This is a snack for you? I... I, I can't even believe this shit, but I... Uh, damn. Damn, I would have just... You're sucking the wall would have gave you more nutrition than this. Then for dessert, I made this big, massive Easter grazing table. Dude, look at the Nutella just chilling right there. That's crazy, bro. So I got some things off there. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah? How you gonna have a whole table laid out of dessert? And you only pick up a few things. That you can't just leave that shit on the table. I literally saw this shit right here, that, whatever these candies are, these things will eventually go bad, right? Even the chocolates, the the, the literal fruits that are on the table. Are you just eating this all day? Is this like the whole day's worth of eating? Is there anyone else in your house? Is it just you? Is it just you that is eating this? Oh my god. Cause you gotta body it, right? Like, am I wrong? If you have a table, an entire table. Full of assorted delicacies, whatever you want to call this, of all candies and assorted foods, and you only eat like three, three percent of it, and then leaves like the ninety-seven percent of it on the table. What are you doing with that? You just wasting it? You're just leaving there? Nah, your body in that shit. So throughout the day, I wouldn't be surprised if she's going back to this shit, bro. Is this an actual animal? What is this thing? This looks like a reindeer or something. Massive Easter grazing table. Grazing table. So she is going to be body slamming this shit throughout the day. Damn, I can't get over how fucking massive these strawberries are, bro. These just are literally the size of, like, a small apple. So, I got some things off there. Didn't record everything I ate off there, but... I knew it, dude. That's all you gotta say. Just show us the before and after the table. Like, <laughs> show us the table before, and then show us what you did after. Like, let me, let me see the residue. Basically, just like the chocolate, the Kit Kat ones, Nutella muffins, some buttons. Muffins. And then a little bit later on, I actually had one of these Smarties Easter eggs from ages ago. 
and had God a- God damn, bro. You already had the table. Why you need more than that? Why you need to get more candy? Dude, the table alone was like more candy than some people I've seen in their entire life. A little bit of that was so damn. delicious. Hope you all had a great Easter. Dude, ooh, damn. She ain't got no filter on this one, right? Nah, she don't. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my What Are You Eating A Day? So for my breakfast, I had an air fry at breakfast wrap. Then for my dinner, I had a bagel with some crisp and some crackers, and I was gonna have some Philadelphia. She used to drink some I more water. See that in the end. I'm convinced, dude. I have yet to see this ever woman ever drink water. And I don't think I've ever really seen her drink anything in general, dude. I think she just like lives off the food, but she has to consume some type of liquid throughout the day, right? But if I'm being honest, dude, I don't think I've ever seen her indulge in the sweet delicacy known as water, dude. That shit, you know, people sleep on it. If you drink water as much as you possibly can or at least like enough to fill you up damn dude these hands are literally inflated dude that's crazy you know when you're really obese when your hands start like start putting on fat because that just means that like the places of your body where you would usually get fat so like your legs your hips your thighs your guts whatever that stuff is already hit capacity and now it starts developing on places like your hands that's that should be like wake up call for you but regardless i guess it really doesn't matter especially if you're becky jones and you're just body slamming like literally like 10,000 calories per meal so i guess it really doesn't matter but for somebody like for somebody like becky on a daily basis it, it, if drinking water would 100% like mitigate the mitigate the hunger that you get like a lot of people sleep on that um and even if you wanted to you could put some flavoring in that i know a lot of people that are bitches that think that drinking water doesn't have a flavor or like oh water doesn't taste good it's not about tasting good not everything needs to taste good dude i don't know why so many people live their life with that idea of like i need to have everything that i eat taste amazing regardless of what it is that's not the way you should be living your life you should hope that, like, things that you eat are tolerant enough. Like, water, granted, doesn't have an actual flavor, but it's water. Like, it's supposed to be something that you drink to feel good. But, all right, dude, whatever, man. But on this bagel, I had chicken and bacon filler, and it's honestly the best filler. And I just love my Ritz. These crackers are perfect. Damn, dude. And I had the cheese and onion crinkle crack. You, you got the crackers and the chips. Like, come on, dude. Like, you just pick one or the Thanks. other. And then I also had a Belvita, like, Damn, chocolate dude. chip bar. Damn, I think that you had enough with the wrap. The wrap was big as fuck. Which I always... And you already had two different snacks. Why you need a third snack? My favorite good... Yeah, this woman... You know, one of the problems I see with intuitive eating for these people, right? I hear this a lot where it's like, oh, how to fix your relationship with food is intuitive eating because your body knows intrinsically what it wants. When you've been eating like this woman has been eating for her entire life... It's obvious that intuitive eating is never going to help you because you've built up such an appetite over a period of time that like simple foods, like eating a meal is not going to satisfy you anymore. Like this woman just did. Like she just ate a breakfast wrap. That shit was not enough. Obviously, she just had Ritz chips and she's having one of these Belvita chocolate things, whatever the fuck that is. So when intuitive eating, these people sit there and go, I always want to, I, I want to refer back to this, this, these videos and go, this person has been eating like this for their entire life. Like intuitive eating is just going to make it worse because they don't have hunger cues anymore. These people have never actually been hungry in their entire life. They've been conditioning themselves to believe that they're hungry, but then reality, the situation is like, no, nah, they're not actually hungry. They're just eating because it's convenient. And it's, I guess, fun to do sometimes. Like some people just eat to eat and they don't actually have a reason to do it. Uto. Then for tea, I made some Nando's sweet chili jam meatballs with broccoli and mash. The mash was so creamy. I could literally eat mash with every meal. I love it. Love and I it. had some broccoli turn. And then for dessert, of course, you've all seen it. Why do you need to get the fuck out of here, bro? Get out of here, bro. What is this? Like, a, Is this like a shingle on somebody's roof? The Bruce cake. Why you need that? Damn, that shit's big as fuck. And then fuck. for dessert, of course, you've all seen it. The br Bro, that shit is massive, dude. You literally got that shit on a cutting tray. Did you eat this whole thing? What is that? Is this just one slice? What is this? Is this a slice? Is this like... Is this like a triangle out of a circle or... Oh, my God. Bruce cake. How much did you have eat? have custard, though. You can't have fudge cake without custard. You put custard on it, too? It's so good, but next time I'm definitely going to warm it up. It's honestly amazing. If you invented the oh. create your own nachos in Morrison's, you are a bloody genius. So tonight for tea, I got the create your own nachos from Morrison's along with a... Dude, the nachos alone should be enough. You got a frozen pizza too. 
pizza as well create your own so on the nachos i got what did i get i got spicy chicken spicy beef red onion and cheese they look amazing we'll open them up on the pizza i got chicken spicy beef red onion and you ain't gonna make it to 40 dude you're not gonna make it to 40 if you keep living like this dude this is serious you really going you know instead of making it a thing where you get you go home and you make your own pizza and you throw the toppings it can even be like a bonding moment with you and your family it could be real fun and you also have the nachos, which are not really hard to make at all. It just takes a few ingredients. I don't know what that that those nachos have, but I know I can make better nachos than that, and they'd be way healthier than this. You have too many opportunities to go out and get food. Like, e even when you go out to get food, somehow you still manage to do it and make food outside, which is really crazy to me, actually. Like, you have too many opportunities to waste your money. So, for somebody like Becky... I don't know how she has as much money as she does. Um, she looks like she lives in a pretty nice house. She looks at a house or apartment or whatever it may be. She's living a pretty good life. She just has too many opportunities to spend the money that she has on bullshit, like complete bullshit. I want to know how much money she would save at the end of the month, even if she cut out like a fourth or like one fourth. I'm not even asking for like, I'm not even asking for like the whole 50% or 60 or 70% or the 100%. I'm asking for a fourth, 25%, 20 to 25%. I want to know how much money you would save at the end of that month if you didn't spend that money on fast food. Because it's got to be astronomical, dude. Like this pizza alone has to has to have been like five, six, seven, eight bucks. You know, at most, my bad. At most, it's got to be like 10 to 15 bucks. But I'll lowball it and say it's like 10 to 8 bucks. The nachos too, probably around the same amount. She's doing this every day. Like she went to na Nando's. She easily spent... I don't know, 10 bucks there easily, 10 bucks. That's probably low balling it. Most places nowadays, they charge you way more than that. Like a burger at Five Guys is literally $13. So I wouldn't be surprised if Nando's was like $13 too or even more. And then she literally goes to Nando's like every single fucking day. So, and then she got the other thing, like the whole, the literal table worth of candy. I couldn't even imagine how much money that shit was. Even if it was on sale like three days after Easter and you went to the grocery store to buy like the, the candy that was on sale, like 50% off. I couldn't even imagine that it was less than $50 for all the food that she bought, all that candy on the table. But uh, I just really want to know how much money she would actually spend if, uh, or how much she would save if she just didn't eat as much as she did. Sweet corn. Or just made the food at your house. You put corn on the pizza? That's got to be, that's, I know a lot of people have a problem with pineapple on pizza. I don't mind it personally. I wouldn't go out of my, I wouldn't buy that shit. But if somebody had it there, I would eat it. No problem. But corn on pizza? Let me know what you guys think about that. So let's have a look at what these look like. Let me just read how you do it. <laughs> so excited to try these. I've seen. Oh, wow. It's okay. It's just a plate full right, of chips. I need to get a dish to put these in. Oh no, place the box on a baking tray. You can. Remove the lid. To get the lid off, like, but I'm so excited for the these. chips are gonna get extremely uh, moist. This is why when you make nachos, the chips gotta be on last. Yes, so these are gonna go in the oven. Didn't now. even chop up the onions, dude. This is literally some straight up onion action right here, dude. Dice the onions. Dice them. Dice the onions, dude. This shit is literally just solid chunks of onion. This shit is not even cut. Now for 10 to 12 minutes, and then this is also going to go Damn, in. Having two things at the same time is crazy as fuck, bro. What is this pizza sauce? Like, is this barbecue sauce? I didn't get cheese on my pizza, and this is going to go in as well. I don't think it really even matters if you're just coating it with meat and whatever. What is this then? Oh, is this chicken? Okay. About 12 minutes. Okay, so my pizza is done. That's my done? It looks exactly the same. Those are, obviously, I didn't get a lot of cheese, but if you like cheese, you can get this full of Isn't it. Isn't that, like, the number one thing that people put on nachos is cheese? So, I'm just going to dish it out. I'm not sure how to dish the nachos out because I'm guessing you'd usually just put them, obviously, on a table if you're showering. Just dump them. that shit out. Okay. Yeah, just dump it out, dude. There we go. You just, yeah. you, what, what is the box? What you going to eat? some cheese i don't like cheese balls you see guys i don't like a lot of cheese i like cheese but not a lot of it right this might be enough that might be enough half and the pizza damn i'm gonna use scissors to cut my pizza today what because why not <laughs> can't do anything right 
can't do anything right, Becky, dude. Cutting a pizza with, with some scissors is insane. I mean, hey, whatever you got, right? You don't got a pizza cutter? You can get one of those at the Chinese dollar store for literally two bucks. Again. If it's working, it's working, I guess. Is that bar is that actual barbecue sauce for the pizza sauce? Obviously, I'm not gonna eat all this pizza. <laughs> yeah, okay. Dinner tomorrow. I mean, let it when it when it goes cold. So here is my tea. Half the pizza, half the nachos. As if that's that's yeah, no, obviously this is way better than just eating it all. I mean, yeah, naturally. Eating it all would be obviously terrible, but eating half of half, nah, it's Super obviously not as bad. To try it all, and I've got my I only dip too. Cheese dip. I'm just trying one of the nachos on its own. It's just deep. Oh my god! Closing, so good. These closing your eyes while you eat it, though. It's not that good. Come on perfect now. Perfect for like a Saturday night. What do you mean it's perfect for Saturday? What? What? What is? What kind of ways do you think about food? What do you mean it's perfect for Saturday night? It's it's fucking pizza. It's not even good pizza. You put no cheese on it. It's got corn. And of course, my pizza. Mm -hmm. I am super <laughs> duper excited. What is this, dude? Get baked? Some weed, maybe? Guess what is in this box? Your hopes and dreams, dude. What is what is in it? Uh, let me guess. I hope it's... Uh, I mean, it looks like a shoebox, but maybe it's like food, probably. If you guess the Bruce cake, you're wrong. Cake. It's the Bruce pudding. Because they didn't have the Bruce cake. They sold out within 30 seconds. So, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. Okay. So this is from Get Beat. Is that cardboard? I got this the other day off the website. I bought it myself. Um, the Get Beat. Bro, the box is useless. Why the fuck would they give you this giant ass, this giant ass shoe box just for this little ass tub of whatever the fuck this is? This is irrelevant. What are you doing with this? Bruce pudding. Now I haven't even looked at this. I put it in the fridge when it got delivered. So um, you delivered. Right you got it delivered, huh? With Becky's chocolate fudge. <laughs> he actually says with Becky's chocolate fudge. Okay. Okay. What? It just looks like this. Stuff. It looks like the surface of Mars. It doesn't look good. It looks dry as fuck. It literally looks like it's crumbling as you nice tilt it. When it's done. I actually couldn't believe how fast it um sold out. Sold out. The actual. Does this look good? What is this thing? But it literally just looks like some moon dust. And she's gonna eat this shit. Damn, she looks real inflated here, dude. I'm not gonna lie. She looks like she's uh like she her face has been. She looks really inflated, right? Like a whole bunch of bees have been babysitting her face. Why is she so inflated, dude? Damn. Fudge cake. So I'm hoping to get that next time, but let's put this in the oven now for 10 to 15 minutes. Love the packaging as well. But and nobody gives a fuck about the packaging. It's just a box. Like, what are you going to do with the box? Are you going to save it? How fat are you? Are you one of those people that has like the... You know what I'm talking... You ever see those people with like a whole bunch of... um like a whole bunch of bottles behind them and they'll be like yeah dog i love i love prime prime all day and there's like 50 different primes behind them what are you doing that's dumb as fuck bro you have just random bottles of i guess what am i talking about i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about actually no. it says to for the best light nostalgia eat out the um tin foil foil tray but yeah this is from get baked guys i am so that wow it looked, I can't believe I, I'm going to say this, bro. It looked better before. I don't even understand where the moisture even came from. This looks like something dinosaurs would fall into and we would discover like three, th three million years later. This shit literally looks like some oil pit. So excited to try this. Guys, look, I've just took so many all soup and down. It doesn't well, look good. Down. You can do it, Brucey. You it's can black. You can do it. <laughs> Oh, why? Oh, that's not the texture I thought it would be. Ooh, it's like gooey and it's like kind of crumbly too. Ooh, it looks nasty. It looks like like if, if you walked into a bathroom after a homeless man was in there. It looks bad, doesn't it? it? Does this look appetizing to you? What the fuck is the texture on this thing? It literally looks like dirt that's been like mudded up a little bit. Wow. Damn, clean that shit. 
you know, I'm, I would just take this whole. You know what's thing. crazy is that this isn't for anybody else, and I'll, I'm gonna tell you why. She's using the same spoon that she just cleaned it off with. Like she just put that shit in her mouth, and that, this is just for her. This is just for her. Nobody else is involved in this. She is body slamming this shit all by her lonesome. Your knuckles are orange. Why does it look like you only have three knuckles though? Somebody told me, people have been telling me that when you have like discoloration on your knuckles or fingers, that it's uh, a sign of the early diabetes or diabetes in general. Damn, that wristwatch is being suffocated on that arm, bro. So is that like, because look, dark, 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 all dark right here. Is not is this diabetes? Is she have undiagnosed diabetes, bro? I hope not, man. It's like orange. But I'm not going to be that greedy. What you mean you're not going to be that greedy? You bought the shit for yourself. You talk about. You already greedy as fuck. What you talk about? Oh my gosh, guys. Wow. It looks gross. <laughs> Damn. Oh shit. Wow. You know, look. I'm not one of these people. Enjoy your food. Go ahead. Enjoy your food. But for somebody like Becky, dude, you've been enjoying this shit for way too long. How many times you going to need to enjoy your food before you realize that you can't really enjoy food anymore? You know what's really interesting, too, is that you can make really good good foods if you actually put some time, effort, some culinary delight in the foods that you create yourself. I understand that you got money, and I understand that you got, you know, resources, and you got Uber Eats, and you got all this, like, you know, great stuff, these resources that can deliver food to you, but it, you're doing it too much, too often, you're taking advantage of that shit, you're 33 years old, you think you can do this shit for another 33? Nah, nah, bro, that shit is not practical, you've been doing this way too, you need to sacrifice, there needs to be a moment you wake up and go, damn, I really been body slamming food for 33 years of my life, like, the amount of food that I've eaten is probably equivalent to a 70-year-old person. And the amount of food that I've eaten, I wouldn't even be surprised at that. Like, think about how much stress your organs are under daily. Just digesting the pure grease and the backwash of these, whatever the fuck this thing is. Your body can't just be doing this on a daily basis like that, bro. At some point, you're going to have to sacrifice. And I know it sucks to say that because it's not really sacrificing for most people. Most people actually like eating whole foods. But, I mean, for you, I guess it might be sacrificing. You're going to have to wake up one day and realize you this is not practical. Like, you can't just be doing this shit for your whole life. You need to have some moment where you wake up and realize that you're going to have to eat some actual food. Wow. I am going to go in. It, bro, that shit is way more. This looks like... This looks like, have you ever seen Snowpiecers? Have you ever seen that movie Snowpiecer? And at the very beginning of the movie, they like they fed people like jelly, but the jelly was basically like, <laughs> if you, I'm spoiling the movie, but the movie came out in like 2014 or something like that. So get over it, it's 10 years old. But in the movie, they were feeding people like these jelly bricks. And basically the jelly bricks are just bugs or something like that. I don't know. This is what it looks like. It looks like jelly bricks, like chocolate, chocolate flavored jelly bricks. Like it doesn't look good. And also, it looks like, oh, no, no, she definitely cleaned out half of it. How are you going to sit there and tell me you're not going to be greedy? Your body slamming half the shit. This does not look good. Smell, guys. Look at it. Wow. I need to show you. Oh, it looks video. fucking gross. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my what I eat in a day. So for my dinner, I had some of these sandwiches. Now, I am obsessed with these at the minute. Everything you're obsessed with, dude. Like, everything. She literally says, like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so crazy obsessed with this. It's so good. It's so good. Everything you eat, you're obsessed with it. If you don't know what they are, they're basically made by Bernard Matthews. And they've got ham and cheese in them. Then I had some Ritz. Pre-packaged Ritz are crazy. Crackers, again, another one of my favorites. And nope. I got some of these little Kit Kat bunnies. Damn, laying down ain't it. Then for my tea, I had a fake away McDonald's. The wait, wait, hold up, bro. Tenders from I hold up, bro. I could have sworn she started. She started her day with I ate what I ate for dinner. And welcome to my what I eat in a day. So for my dinner, I for my dinner. So you started your day eating dinner. Okay, but then you said you had tea, which people have told me tea is like lunch for you. So. Are you going backwards? Are you like the Benjamin Buttons of eating food? Like, how does this work exactly? Crackers, again, another one of my favorites. And I got some of these little Kit Kat bunnies. Closing and... your eyes while you eat the Kit Kats, man. Come on. It's just, it's just fucking chocolate, dude. It's all it is, dude. Why are you fully embracing the, the, the absolute disgusting milk chocolate? I like milk chocolate, but uh, this is insane. They are so good. 
Then for my tea, I had a fake away McDonald's, the chicken, oh, this tenders from these. Iceland, and some of these fries to go. I was not expecting the fries to go to be that good. They were actually really nice. Okay. I think I still prefer micro chips though, and probably McDonald's, but yeah, still good. Damn. Then when I got home that evening, I had. Bro, am I wrong? She literally said she started her day eating dinner. What are you taught? What are you time traveling? You can't eat dinner at the very beginning of the day. What the fuck? Some biscuits and a cup of tea. Bro, ain't no way you calling this shit biscuits, bro. Ain't no way, bro. This is biscuits to you? This biscuits? God damn, these are fucking chocolate chip cookies, bro. And this is like macadamia nut cookies? You guys gotta do something about this, dude. Listen, I'm not in the UK, so I can't do anything about that. Somebody needs to enlighten this woman, okay? Like, there needs to be, like, a constable meeting or something like that. And, you know, I don't know what you, if you guys have real phones over there in the UK. I kind of thought for a long time that you guys had, like, those rotaries where you push the button and you turn it, it goes... I thought you guys have that. Somebody needs to put, like, a town hall meeting and talk about the negative effects of eating... Calling foods, this is not biscuits, okay? This is not biscuits. Somebody needs to put a meeting together and go, we got to stop calling foods that are not the foods that are the things listed, random other foods, okay? Like, that's not a biscuit. This is a cookie. These are cookies, okay? Cookie. Hold up, bro. Does your, does your toaster have USBs? Why does your toaster have USBs? Yeah, that's USBs. Why do you? It's not the weirdest thing I've ever seen, but toasters with USBs is kind of crazy. This is a toaster, right? Okay. I don't know, bro. That shit's off-putting to me. You just cannot beat Dunkin' Biscuits in a cup of tea. Dunkin' Biscuits? Okay. Those are cookies. Cookies, not biscuits. And I love cookies. I'm the cookie man. <laughs> and a cup of tea. Hold up. Got home that evening. I had some biscuits and a cup of tea. You called them biscuits. And then you like, yeah, they're cookies now. What'd you forget? Hey. Is she fucking with us? I feel like this entire day she's just fucking with us. You just cannot beat Dunkin' Biscuits in a cup of tea. Okay. And I love cookies. Okay. I'm the cookie. Can somebody let me know down below? Is this synonymous for cookies? Is, is... <sighs> you guys, look. You guys created the language, right? You guys created the language. UK, people in the UK, um, London, whatever, created the language, which is beautiful. I love English. English is like universally known as like the language that is like the median language. Like this is the language that's, that, that basically is the glue of the world, right? And for some reason, you guys in the UK have an inability to speak it properly. I don't know what it is. I just don't know. I don't get it. Um, the accent's cool, sure, but the accent only goes so far. If you're going to sit there and call biscuits cookies and cookies biscuits, why? Why is that? You can't just, how many times have I heard somebody say something that's just ridiculous? That makes no sense. Yeah, so we went to get a Nando's and it was real good. We had it for tea, even though tea doesn't really mean what you think it was. Because tea for us is actually lunch. And I had a biscuit as I show you me dunking my chocolate chip cookies in my tea that I just really just covered covered completely in sugar and milk so it's not really even tea if i'm being honest it's actually really bad for you but nobody can tell me it's bad because i'm gonna tell people the cookies are actually biscuits they're not biscuits you know what we call biscuits here biscuits they're like pieces of bread you know that they're like little pieces of bread that you can buy at with accompany your chicken or you can just go and get them at the store they're not bread they're not cookies. Cookies are their own things, okay? Can we just be honest here for a second? Same thing with chips, okay? Chips, french fries, they're not the same thing. Stop. You, you Get your shit together, UK. Monster. I don't even know if he speaks like that. <laughs> well, these ones had like a chocolatey filling. Oh, wow. They were amazing. And my bro hit different last night. Hi, everyone. Dude, you don't got that choker on, bro. Like your Avril Lavigne in 2005, bro. Why my what you in the day. For my breakfast, I had some porridge, some banana, and okay. some biscoff in it. I was going to have my prepared fruit, but it went moldy. <laughs> then for my dinner... I can believe it. 
I can believe why the fruit went moldy. Because you don't eat that shit. You buy it thinking that you're going to eat it because it's healthy. It's fruit, right? Fruit is way healthy compared to the fucking table of chocolate that I just saw her go through earlier, okay? And then you buy the fruit thinking that you're going to buy it. You're going to eat it. You spend three weeks looking at it going, I'm going to eat it tomorrow. I'm going to eat it tomorrow because why would I eat it today? I got chocolate. I got candy. I got all this fucking crazy good food. And then eventually when you do finally go get it, you go, oh, no, I can't eat it anymore because... It went bad. It has mold on it. So I guess I can't eat it. You just send yourself up for failure time and time again. You buy it. You wait too long. And then when you do want to eat it, it's not, it's no longer feasible for you to eat, which is probably just your whole thing. Like this is like you 3D chesting yourself. You're setting yourself up so that later on when you do eventually want the, the fruit, you can't buy it and you can't eat it anymore. So what do you do? You go out and you get sushi. Ha. <laughs> Beautiful 3D chest in yourself. I sat in my car outside. Asda Sad. And had these. If you're eating food in your car, damn, bro, that shit is oh, man. Sometimes you look at somebody's side profile and you're like, damn, that is uncanny. Wow. Chicken katsu. Rose. What is this fucking? Why are you wearing this? What are you doing with this shit? From Yo Sushi, which are in Asda though. You got a little pot of curry mayo with them, and honestly, Face is massive. It's so so good. Had a cold a bottle of and you had a solid coca-cola i think these are like 170 180 calories as well then i just chilled for a little bit and had some of my saucy barbecue transform snacks damn i think that's what they're called then for my tea damn. i had a happy meal which was what the wheel decided from mcdonald's you got a you got a happy meal went for a chicken nugget one and of course i got a coke with that too too much money. Then later on last night, I had my Milky Stars, Magic Dude. Stars, should I say, which I actually found in a shopping bag. And your day literally consists of you laying down or sitting down eating your food. Can you, like, walk to the establishments a little bit? Because it's, like, it's too many opportunities for you. It's way too easy for you to buy this food and get them delivered. Dude, you just look like you're living a not-so-fun life. In my boot. But that was everything. I hope you all had a That's great day. That's fucking enough. Can't do it with Becky, dude. Every time I watch a new video from her, I'm like, dude, I can't believe somebody is eating as much as she is, dude. That dude, that plate, that entire table worth of chocolate was actually insane. I almost couldn't believe that somebody could do something like that. That's crazy. And before anybody says it, she's body slamming the table. She is. You're not laying out an entire table's worth of candy and treats and not body slamming it that day that table had to have been like twenty thousand calories no joke just the table alone and she still went out crazy crazy she got another takeaway even with the table covered in copious amounts of food man can i go back real quick and just look at that shit i just want to see that shit one more time real quick oh my god you just don't give a fuck about yourself at all Oh my god, Becky! Becky! What are you doing? Oh man! You ain't gonna make it if this is how you're gonna live. Damn! That table is big as fuck too. Whatever. We're gonna end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All those things I'd appreciate tremendously. <sighs> Thank you for being here, by the way, and enduring this video. Uh, it's tough. It's tough to watch. It was real tough to watch. But I'm happy you made it through with me. Thank you for your time today. Um, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave, uh, uh, leave a subscribe. I'd appreciate that. I'm almost 10,000 subs. So if you can help me get there faster, I would appreciate that. But if you don't want to, that's fine, too. You just being here is enough for me. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to thank everybody that's a member and everybody that's subscribed. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. You guys are beautiful, spectacular, amazing people. And I will, too, compliment you if you subscribe and become a member. If you don't want to become any of those things, though, it's completely fine. Anyway, if you guys watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in bunny because they're beautiful creatures. And you don't have to just love bunnies. Guess what? They make chocolate bunnies, too, apparently. Um, they're good. They're okay. I used to eat them a lot when I was a children. I don't think I've had one in years man that's actually really sad thinking about it because they, the prices have gone up so dramatically in the last few years right i remember when i was a kid used to be able to buy you know those little peep containers uh used to be able to buy peeps for i think it was like two for a dollar and nowadays I, I i remember i was at the grocery store post post easter right so the sale 
and these things were literally four dollars ralph four dollars for one which is crazy okay that means they were more money when people were buying them for actual easter get the fuck out of here bro this is why i don't celebrate holidays man that shit is un it's ridiculous nobody should be buying four dollars worth of peeps it's not even good just buy fucking go to the go to the other aisle and just buy some regular marshmallows and sprinkle sugar on them i guess i don't fucking know I'm way better than that but anyway guys um, you're a beautiful specimen today. I really enjoy your smile. I really enjoy that the way you look, the shirt that you're wearing right now. Wow, that shirt looks amazing today. You look fantastic. You really do look amazing. And I really appreciate you wearing uh, outrageously amazing clothes that contour to your body as perfectly as they do. And even if they don't, I know that they do because you are a specimen regardless of what you wear. You are literally the epitome of beauty and amazingness personified. So naturally, anything you wear is just going to be outrageously amazing regardless. Um, but you got to stay away from me a little bit because I, I sweat too often when I'm around you because you're just so hot. You're just so steamingly hot. Oh, it's like ridiculous. Like, you know, for all of time, right, we've had this issue for like the last hundred years of global warming. And I know that the scientists have been talking about it's humans, it's humans, it's humans. I got to be honest with you. It's not humans. It's human. It's you. It's you. You're the reason. You have been causing global warming. When I go outside and it's it's 65 degrees out in December, it's your fault because you're too hot. You're too spicy. You're making the globe warm up. But guess what? I'm okay with it. I'm perfectly fine with your heat, your radiance, your beauty just emanating off of you. I love it. Mmm, marinates off me. But it's, it does make me it does make me perspirate a little bit. I have to just continuously apply deodorant over and over and over and over again because you are making me spiced up too. You're making me you're making me too lubricated. But anyway. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord, all those things are gonna be linked in the description of this video and the description of my channel all you gotta do is click the about and and uh click more on this video and you'll find those things enjoy the rest of your day guys